Hey everyone, welcome to this lesson on the switch module in a data manipulation course. Let's start by explaining what this module actually is. The switch module is an inbuilt tool on Integramat that checks the input value for a match with the provided list of values and returns the output based on the result. So you're probably thinking, what's the difference between the switch function found under the general functions tab and switch module? While the switch function and the switch module are similar, however, the switch module also has the option to use a regular expression for matching values, adding more capabilities to the switch module. Regular expressions can be quite complex to apply, depending on the data you want to extract from your input text. So we recommend that you check out our full course on regular expressions for more complex examples and use cases. With that being said, the examples you will see in this lesson will be quite simple and easy to understand, but can also be useful in many scenarios. All right. In the first example, let's match the input to a simple text in the switch module. Responses from a Google form are added to this Google Sheet here. As you can see, these responses are single words. The responses are then retrieved from the sheet and if it matches any of the values listed in the switch module, it outputs the corresponding text which is then added to this column on the sheet. The Google Sheets Watch Rows module has a straightforward configuration, so let me show you how to set up the switch module. Here in the input field, simply map the element that contains the text that you want to check for a match with the list of values below. You can add an item to the list by clicking here. There are two items already created. You can see that if the input value matches the word disagree, it outputs the words negative statement. If it matches agree, it outputs positive statement. And if the responses don't match either of the words, it outputs unidentified. It's important to note that since this input is not a regular expression pattern, the input must match the text exactly in order to output the value here. In the Google Sheets update a row module, after selecting the spreadsheet and sheet, I'll map the row number to the row number field and the output element from the switch module to the relevant field. All done. So let's execute this scenario. Here you see that all three responses were retrieved. Two of those responses each matched a different case in the switch module and returned the desired output. One response did not match any case and outputted the else condition. And on the sheet, you see the responses with the corresponding outputs were added correctly. Okay, so let's say the responses were sentences, but you want to check if they contain certain values like the words agree or disagree in this case. Since you are checking for a specific word in a sentence, you will need to use a simple regular expression pattern in the switch module since the previous pattern won't work. All you need to do is simply wrap the words agree and disagree in brackets. And in taking out regular expression syntax, the occurrence of a string between brackets will be matched in the input text. Let's leave the text in the output field the same. Ensure that you tick this box here. So let's execute the scenario again. The scenario executed successfully, and the correct output for each response was generated by the switch module and entered on the sheet. So this was just a simple demonstration to show you how the switch module can be used to manipulate data in scenarios. So here's a quick recap on the switch module. The switch module is an inbuilt tool on a taker mat that checks the input value for a match with the provided list of values and returns the output based on the result. The switch module differs from the switch function as it also has the option of using a regular expression pattern to match values. By using regular expressions in the switch module, input you can search your input text and match words within a sentence. So that brings us to the end of this lesson and also concludes the course on data manipulation. Hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and happy automating.